Hey, it's Sam here. Welcome to this demo of XFunnels. It's a brand new cloud-based software that lets you create websites and sales funnels or opt-in funnels or webinar funnels using a whole bunch of preloaded templates. Now I'm told there's over 500 templates available with this, so you have a starting point to do whatever you want to create basically. A good place to start is with a good template and there's plenty of those in here. Now what is it exactly? So basically it is a website builder, drag and drop editor, all the sorts of things uh, you would expect out of being able to create a new website. There's a good level of integration as well. So what I'm going to do in this demo, instead of making you just watch me build a website, we're going to take a walk through the dashboard, have a look at all the features and then we'll have a quick look into the website editor as well because I'm sure uh, most of you have probably already seen one of those so let's see what is all included within X funnels and uh, what makes it uh, what it is okay so this is the dashboard so within the dashboard as you can see we've got a bunch of different ad analytics now something that you can do with this is the ability to be able to add products and sell them so if you're making a sales page you can add a product in uh, you know if you've got a certain product and take payment for it via Stripe and via PayPal now this is where the dashboard comes in because it gives you a bunch of analytics uh, to be able to see what sort of sales what sort of orders you're doing uh, what sort of revenue you're doing as well you can see down here uh, how many people have purchased uh, how many people have visited uh, uh, revenue what it's all sort of what your website's pulling again different heat maps data sets everything you'd expect to be able to uh, be able to gauge where what you're doing online you've got uh, different uh, feedback on where people are coming your traffic uh, various things throughout the world especially if you're using traffic from different sources or targeting different geo regions that is quite handy as well so that is what is available in the dashboard of course you got opt-ins as well uh, which can uh, if you're using the page for lead generation is a good data set as well so let's jump down into my products uh, actually before we go into my products let's go into app integration so you can see what's uh, integrated within this so what you have is a whole bunch of stuff that you can integrate so you've got PayPal uh, you've got Stripe as well that you can integrate these are for taking payments you've got HQ webinar in case you're running a webinar funnels okay and then a whole bunch of different autoresponders in case you're using this for lead generation or anything like that so we've got MailChimp get response all the ones you can see here on the left okay so that is what you can integrate and this will make more sense when I go into my products now so what we can do is we can put in a product to sell so let's just say for example we got a super software okay uh, product description I'd put my description uh, the description in here I'd describe it talk about how great it is whatever uh, product image I would grab an image I would put in an image uh, whatever I want to put in I'm just going to use uh, a logo of mine you can crop it uh, to be able to highlight whatever part you want click crop and that is going to add it in as the product image billing type is this one time monthly or yearly okay so if this is a monthly if it's a super software and we're we're selling it at a monthly cost we're going to make it monthly and it's 27 dollars a month i can choose my currency we got us dollars uh i don't even know what that one is uh inr maybe that's uh indonesian indian who knows australian dollars i don't know why it's chosen these three as default but we'll use uh, us dollars okay payment method paypal or stripe so if we got both integrated uh, we could do this so if I want this one to be a PayPal one I'd submit this and it's made the product it's integrated so where this comes in is when we go about building our page we can if we do a sales page we can select what product this is going to sell so the checkout process goes through that product and we'll take a look at that when we jump into the builder okay contacts again uh, submissions to your lead forms different uh, contacts uh, different things like that uh, clients whatever you want a contact management just the customer record management within the software so that is uh, it with the domains as well you can have it hosted on a subdomain or you can connect up your own domain you can add a domain uh, within here and if you use the DNS sort of stuff you can go about put, hooking up your own domain to be able to be used within this as well for your own unique website so that is basically the things that are outside the website builder that are available in this let's go into the funnels okay so you can go about building an entire funnel or a website so let's jump a look in uh, at the funnel so uh, what I would like to mention just before we jump into this is you can actually create unlimited funnels unlimited website pages and hook up unlimited domains all included within this same with the product creation you can create as many products as you like to be able to uh, sell within this so it's your one-stop hub to be able to create as many pages products uh, ways to be able to sell 
online as you could expect. So let's go into a funnel and we'll take a look at some of the typical funnels. So we can choose the typical uh, funnel type. Sales funnel, product launch, membership, emails, live webinar, webinar replay. So if we go, uh, let's go product launch, uh, always exciting. Okay, I'm gonna call this one the demo product launch. Funnel logo, again, we just choose any old logo we want. So I'm just gonna use a company logo again. Uh, I'm just gonna crop that, just save time. I'm not gonna make you watch me crop logos. Tags, tag, this is for internal management of your funnel. Okay, let's create this funnel. Now, product launch. It's given us a sequence of launch pages. We've got an opt-in page, launch page, order page, thank you page. So what I do within this is we can see within these funnels, uh, I can see all the stats of what's been going on. So I've got no sales, no earnings, brand new funnel. Okay, my domain, subdomain, or if I connect up my own domain, it will work with that as well. Now, once we know what page we're going into, we uh, go into each uh, option. Now, as you can see, you can build out two different pages. You can uh, build out a variant A and a variant B page, which allows for split testing of your pages. Very cool as well. Now, uh, if I go into, let's just say, choose variant A, now I choose my template. So this is an opt-in page, so I'm gonna go into opt-in. Okay, uh, I can choose a number of templates here, so I'm just gonna use this one. Uh, it's the first one I can see. You can see you can put uh, tracking code in the header, uh, tracking code in the footer as well if you are doing those sorts of things as well. Now, let's have a look here, import page. So what you can do is you can uh, import an external web page. We'll take a look at this in a second. I actually uh, haven't uh, jumped on that bit yet. So uh, let's go to Edit and Builder and we'll show you through the builder. So uh, this is just gonna load up uh, the builder where we can build out this website. It's just uh, loading in real time here just so you can see how uh, long it actually takes. So it's almost done. Uh, this is from one of the templates as well. So uh, when this opens up, there we go. Let's open up the builder. So what I can do in this is it's full drag and drop. So you can select uh, different elements. So when you have selected an element, it's got this random box here. I don't know uh, why that's there. It sort of just uh, lets you know what element you are selected. So if I select that one, uh, if I select you know this one, uh, it does different things. So I can drag, uh, move things around. So if we, so we're looking at blocks here. Once we're in here. Uh, so we were in the block editor where you can uh, drag things around. So uh, what you need to do is you go up to here. Uh, if we click on this, uh, for example, this is the global style uh, where we can move drag blocks. With this, we can grab and drag and drop anything we uh, want to, including the font, the images, all these sorts of things. If we double click on this, like so, we can go about editing it. So if I go up to the text, double click on this so it's got the text button, I can delete it and I'll go demo content here. Again, I can go about putting web links in this. I can go about formatting this as I'd expect. If I do the same with the image, if I just click on the image, I can uh, edit the logo out of the gallery so I can upload my own image, use any of the images that I've already uh, defaulted into my gallery. You can see I've changed uh, color with that one as well. If there is an element I don't like, I can delete it. So if I click on this one and I close this, Oops, so double click on it. If I click on it once, I click on the trash button. That is going to get rid of that because we don't need this. Again, same with this. We've got two titles up here. So we're going to get rid of that and go about moving things. So it is quite simple uh, to be able to use it. With a bit of time, it'll become very intuitive to be able to build this out. Again, you can see in all the sections on the left, uh, there's a whole bunch of different things you can add. Uh, as you can see, different buttons, different forms. So if we go uh, form builder, we can uh, go about building out a form if it is on our page. So it uses quite a lot of uh, default stuff that is in here. If we go back up the top, this is where it gets interesting. So that is the styles. If I keep clicking across here, this one. If we go into the uh, cart on the right, this is where we can add products. So if this product is going to have a checkout page, what I can do is I can add the super software in here. Okay, uh, I can put uh, the redirect URL for after they buy. I can customize the checkout, everything like that. Uh, contact details for the people to get in contact with as well uh, to be able to put it and also uh, an address if they you require address for delivery and billing. So it is a one-stop shop to deal with your uh, customer 
uh, record management side of things as well. Once you've done all of this, uh, you can go into uh, the preview button down here. This will open up a preview so you can see it in uh, real time what you've what we've just created. I've been dragging things around so you can see it's a bit of a mess. Uh, however, I'm not going to bore you with the details of a, a builder because I'm sure you've seen all of those before. What I want to do is import a page. So let's go grab a web page. So this is my website. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to import a page. I'm going to put this one down here and I'm going to import it now. It won't import the page, so it must be some sort of error. It might be uh, because this is an early version, pre-launch version of this software as well. So uh, apparently from what I can tell uh, from some of the marketing material I read about it, uh, you can import a page and edit the elements of the page. So you can take an existing page that you have or even a competitor's page, tune it up and customize it towards yours. Again, uh, like I mentioned, you could do split testing as well. So that is quite a cool one. When it comes to websites, you can build out websites uh, in the same way you build out a funnel. So I'm going to call this demo website. Uh, we'll go create website. However, I guess your templates are a little bit different because they're more generic uh, website templates. So if I go into the demo website, here on the left, uh, I click on the website itself, choose a template. As you can see, we have, uh, if we go into websites, we've got different sorts of templates. So we've got blank to start from scratch, corporate uh, agencies, uh, different real estate uh, niches, things like that as well. So lots to choose from to be able to start from building a website and be able to go about building out uh, a website in the drag and drop editor as well so there is quite a few tools here available to be able to do all of these sorts of things uh, the one thing I was really keen to check out once we had got it was this uh, live website editor however it looks like it's not working on this uh, review access version of that however if you are looking for a solution to be able to create sales funnels be able to create websites and also be able to sell products within and gather opt-ins this is quite a tidy looking solution uh, from what I can tell so far. So I encourage you to check it out on the bonus page below for a full access, uh, full list of the features that are available within this. Uh, and hopefully if you are looking for this sort of solution, this is something that could uh, fit your needs, especially the things that stand out for me is the ability to be able to build unlimited pages, uh, unlimited domains, unlimited uh, sales funnels, unlimited products is quite appealing uh, you're not limited like you are with a lot of other tools so that is quite a cool uh, thing that can make it well worth your investment in x funnels so hope that's uh what you were what you were expecting from this uh check it out in detail this is sam it's been my pleasure to be able to show you through this here today